How's it going? So I just want to make a quick review on this Vulcan Arc Safe hood. They're kind of expensive. I mean, being off brand, they're still pretty expensive at like 150 normal price. Uh, you get them on sale for 125, sometimes as low as I think $110. You can't use coupons on them unless you bought a Vulcan welder. So even then, it's still 20% off coupon. So if it's $100, it's at a discount already. So I don't think you can use it with a discounted item. Either way, quick review. This thing's been great. Uh, I've gotten to use some of the Miller stuff, some of the Lincoln stuff, some of the cheaper Harbor Freight stuff. And I gotta say what I like about this best is the headband and the size of the screen. So the headband's really comfortable. The headband is what I did not like about every other Harbor Freight hood. The headband is what I liked about Miller and Lincoln hoods. The uh, the screen here, it's really big. It's nice. I like that. It's really responsive. I haven't been accidentally flashed by like insensitivity or anything. It's got four sensors on here, two down bottom, two up top. I've welded in a lot of weird positions like through... See, I normally build uh, air compressor tanks and stuff, and so, so you, you've got holes for the couplings on the sides. Some of them as small as like inch, uh, inch round holes, some of them as big as six inch. But usually looking through a hole on the side, it still gets enough light to auto darken. So that's really, really nice. I can weld from weird places. Still have enough sensitivity that it does darken. And a couple other features it's got here. The, uh, you, you get an adjustment for your sensitivity, your delay time. You've got a weld and a grind mode. Uh, you get your variable shades here, depending on if you're on 5 through 8 or 9 through 13. You got your variables, a low battery test. These little buttons here at the bottom, they just uh, one handed, slide off the side on both of them, and then the whole inside of the screen just pops out. A couple of clips up top. Really easy for getting to the uh, front screen so you can clean it inside and out. It's got a nice dust seal all the way around it. It just fits really nice, covers up from the arc. The hood comes low enough that it, I haven't felt like I needed to put an additional, uh, additional leather neck guard or anything. Covers up pretty decent. It's been a really nice little piece. I got this for think I might have paid 140 out the door on sale which is close to half the price you'd pay for some of the name brands uh, but it's been really good just wanted to you know, let people know it's not a bad buy if you want to drop the money on it it's comfortable it works well and you've got a different name on it I haven't had to deal with their warranty yet or anything, but hopefully if I ever get to that, it'll be good. Have a good evening.